Hello, welcome back to the woods and welcome back to another video about bushcraft on a budget. So in the last video, the first of the series of bushcraft on a budget, we looked at clothing. What gear is available to you if you want to get into bushcraft and you're on a bit of a tight budget? And I think we ticked all of the boxes. In future ones, well, I'm going to break it down in a way that I understand. So we are going to look at shelter, warmth, water and food. Your priorities while you're outdoors. We'll also take a little look at tools and what can be had for a budget price. In this one, well in this one we are going to look at what you're going to carry it all in. So, so that's right, we are going to look at rucksacks and how you are going to carry all of your gear. Well, the first thing you need to think about is how much gear am I actually going to be carrying? What sort of usage is it going to get put to? Is it going to be multi-day trips? Is it going to be little day outings? All of these things have to be considered. Are you going ultra lightweight? Are you going to go for the tiny, tiny gear? Or are you going to go for perhaps the, the, the bigger, more robust gear? All of these things need to be considered when you are buying your pack, as well as what your actual budget is. You also need to have a look at what is actually out there. Well, there's a whole load of different manufacturers who supply packs that are suitable for the bushcraft market. You've got the Frost River packs, where you've got their Isle Royale ones, which are described as heirloom quality and at 400 pound a pop, yes, they should be. They're very, very good, but they're also very, very expensive. You've also got the excellent packs from Carrymore and the Carrymore SF range. Excellent uh, bags designed for the tactical user in those earth tones that we in bushcraft love. And it has all of the practical features that we want. Are you going to go for a big pack? Well, Carrymore will supply you with a big pack. They'll also supply you with a small day sack as well. And there are lots of other manufacturers Osprey, Burgas, Low Alpine, who produce packs that are suitable for the bushcraft market. Now my suggestion is, if you are on a budget, don't bother looking at lots of different packs. One's for a day, one's for expeditions, one for lightweight summer camping. Look for just one pack that will do all of it. Is there such a beast out there? Yes, there he is. <clears throat> and that pack is this. This pack is a long back British Army PLCE Infantry Bergen. It has a hundred litre capacity. It has good external pockets, two on the top, two big pockets on the side, one on the front. These side pockets zip off if you need them to, and you can get a small yoke that can then clip onto it to turn these into a, a small pack. So if I'm just out scouting for the day, I can put what I need into this one. If I need to carry a bit more gear because it's winter, I can zip both pockets together and mount them onto the harness. The little pocket on the front is a useful addition. It will take anything that's about the size of a water bottle. I tend to put my basher kit in here because it's on the outside of the Bergen where I can get hold of it. The harness system, it's very, very simple. It was copied from the Berghouse uh, Cyclops Rock series. Uh, the actual whole rucksack was based on the Crusader but it's the rock carrying system. So it's very, very simple. 
It's not the most ventilated, but it is simple. It has an internal aluminium frame, which can be lifted out. So if you damage it, you can pick up replacement ones. It has a waist belt on it, which I go for the long back one because the long backs were designed to be used with the waist belt. The short backs, most people went from because they sat up on top of their webbing. That spread the weight out. On the long back one, you're not going to be using the webbing, so you use the waist belt. It also makes it slightly narrower when you are carrying it. The build quality is excellent. These early ones, the olive green ones, rumor has it were actually built by Burkhouse under contract. All of the fixtures and fittings are top quality. Big ladder lock buckles on the top. YKK heavy duty zippers. The quality of the, the webbing straps is extremely high. The padding in the shoulders, again, very, very good. It has a multitude of different straps. Obviously you've got your normal ones which cinch the lid down, but they can be pulled right down. So you can shrink the capacity that way. It also has compression straps on the side, three of them, so you can shrink it that way if you want to. Making this very, very flexible. I can have it really loaded up for the winter when I've got that big bulky sleeping bag and extra clothing, extra food, fuel, etc. Or in the spring, if I'm carrying a lot less stuff, I can shrink it right down. And as I said earlier, you have the option of zipping your side pockets off. Again, that makes it a smaller rucksack. This is also an excellent choice for the start of any projects. If you're just starting sewing and you want to have a go, well, these make a very good option. I did a video a few years back on just such a project I did with this one. Uh, and mine has, uh, I've adjusted the lid very slightly and removed the top pocket because I found the capacity actually too big. I also added mesh pockets on the side so I can dump stuff down the side without having the need for the big wide <coughs> zip on zip off side pockets. And you may hear that people have said they are uncomfortable because they're awful heavy loads. Yeah those are probably military loads. It's probably someone who's an ex-soldier who said god they were really uncomfortable my shoulders ached etc. Yeah he was probably carrying 80 pounds of kit you as a bushcrafter should never be carrying 80 pounds of kit so it's not going to be that uncomfortable the actual basic pack itself and the way it's set up is a good tried and tested design and for the sort of loads we carry in bushcraft it's absolutely fine not only is it very very versatile it's also super robust all the zips are heavy duty the fabric is very heavy duty it's designed to be dropped at the back of trucks rolled down hills see combat this is a really good very robust very reasonably priced pack this is a great great rucksack now you'll find these over on ebay and there are lots of ex-military packs over on ebay i could have gone with the swedish lk35 which is held in very high esteem in the bushcraft fraternity however they're getting very rare to get hold of and they're increasingly expensive. These, you can still get hold of them. They're not particularly expensive. I checked on eBay last night. You can, well, there were ones going from about £40 up to about £70, depending on the condition of the pack. And they are a very, very good pack. They're relatively easy to get hold of. You can still get them in green, which I prefer. There are also ones out there in DPM. The DPM ones, there's a few more of them about and they tend to be a little less money than these green ones. But all in all, if you are just starting out on the bushcraft trail, this pack will look after you very, very well, and it won't cost you an arm and a leg. What am I gonna pay? 400 pounds for an Isle Royale, 40 pounds for one of these. I know where my money's going because that extra 360 pounds that I've got left over can buy all the stuff to fill this everything that I need. Sleeping bag, shelter, cooker, everything. <clears throat> a 
could be got and the pack for the cost of one top of the range bushcraft pack. So there you go. That is my choice of pack if you are on a tight budget and you're just starting out in bushcraft. The British Army long back PLCE Bergen complete with side pockets. If you enjoyed this video and you found it useful, then remember, hit that thumbs up button. If you haven't already, subscribe to the channel. And if you check in the description box down below, you will find uh, a little link tree box, which will take you to my Patreon page, uh, my Instagram page. It will also take you over to my Etsy shop, the Greencraft shop. And over there, you will find all manner of things. At the moment, there's a, there's a very nice wool shirt over there. There's also uh, my patches, both the woven ones like this one, and the leather ones as well and they seem to be selling really fast at the moment so whip over there get yourself one of those and show your support for the channel i think that's everything i've been neil and until next time stay safe